is the third largest country in Europe after Russia and Ukraine. It's home to the Eiffel Tower, the Mona Lisa, the Chateau de Versailles, and other famous monuments in Europe and around the world. Its capital, it's also one of the most visited cities in the world. Yes, France. Also called L'Hexagon because of its form, France is a country situated in Western Europe. Now let's talk about its geographical location. Now to the east, it's bordered by five countries, Belgium, Luxembourg, Germany, Italy, and Switzerland. To the south, it's bordered by Andorra, Spain, and the Principality of Monaco. To the north, you'll find the North Sea and the English Channel. In French, it's called La Manche. La Manche. Now to the west, it's bordered by the Atlantic Ocean. And to the south, you see the you find the Mediterranean Sea. Now, its area is estimated to be 550,000 kilometers and it's 5,500 kilometers along the coast shoreline. Now, let's talk about its administrative division. Now, before January 1st, 2016, France was divided into, Metropolitan France was divided into 22 regions. Now, since January 1st, 2016, there are 13 regions in Metropolitan France as against 22 before and five overseas regions. Now, these overseas regions are what in French we call uh, the dom -tom. Now, dom -tom simply means uh, Département d'Outre-mer, Territoire d'Outre-mer. Uh, so these are overseas regions and some of the countries include Guadeloupe, Martinique, La Réunion, Nouvelle-Calédonie, Mayotte, Guyane, and Polynesia. Now from the beginning of the Fifth Republic in 1958, there has been eight presidents, democratically elected presidents in France. Now I'm going to start from Charles de Gaulle. Now if this name rings a bell, it's because Charles de Gaulle is one of the most prominent leaders or president uh, France has ever seen and in fact the international airport in Paris was named after him CDG the Charles de Gaulle. Now after Charles de Gaulle then came Jean Pompidou, Valéguista Destin, François Mitterrand, Jacques Chirac, Nicolas Sarkozy, François Hollande and now Emmanuel Macron was elected twice recently. He was re-elected as the president of France. Now, some of the major cities in France include, of course, the capital city, Paris. There's also Lyon. Now, Lyon is near the Swiss border and is France's second city. It's considered France's second city. It has the third largest population in France. Plus, you have Nice, which is the fifth most popular city in France. It, uh, it sits at the foot of the Alps. It stretches along part of the Mediterranean coast and about 5 million tourists visit Nice a year, which is just second to Paris. 5 million tourists. Also, we have Marseille. Uh, Marseille is France's oldest city and one of the oldest in Western Europe. The main port for commercial and uh, cruise ships in France is actually located in Marseille and, and Marseille welcomes more than 4 million tourists every year. Bordeaux. Now when you hear Bordeaux, something comes to mind. It is wine. And that's why Bordeaux is considered the wine capital of the world. Now I found this really interesting that over 700 million bottles of wine are produced in Bordeaux. 700 million. That's a, that's a whole lot. Now Bordeaux is also home to 362 national heritage sites. Now Toulouse is another major city in France and it's a city called La Ville Rose, Pink City. Why is it called Pink City? It's because its buildings comprise of signature light red terracita bricks from the Garons reddish mud. Now fun fact about Toulouse is that the Toulouse Space Center is the largest space center in Europe. Also we have Strasbourg or Strasbourg. Now Strasbourg shares a border, it's just the nearest city to Germany from France. Uh, it has more in common with Germany, it's situated close to the eastern border with Germany. Uh, it's part of the Alsace region of France. Many locals speak Alsatian, a German dialect, and many of Strasbourg street signs are written in classic German 
script. Now, one of the most famous attractions is the Strasbourg Christmas Market and every French person, everyone who lives in France knows this. The Strasbourg, you really want to spend Christmas in Strasbourg. The Christmas season is even better. I would even say it's even more glamorous than Paris. Christmas in Strasbourg. Now, it's the oldest and largest Christmas market in Europe. Bigger than Paris, bigger than any other city in Europe. Strasbourg. Now we also have Montpellier and it's located in France's southern region. It has a student population. In fact, it is estimated as of 2022, when I recorded this video, it was estimated that 50% of the population of Montpellier are less than 35 years old. So it's a really, um, really youthful uh, city, I would say. Now you also have Dijon. Dijon is located in eastern France. It's one of France's wine capitals and it's famous for its mustard, La Moutade de Dijon. Nantes is another really big city and very cool city in France. Now, in fact, during the 17th century, Nantes was considered to be the largest port city in France. Now, let's talk about some of the famous uh, monuments in France. Of course, top on our list is the Eiffel Tower. In French called La Tour Eiffel. Now, the Eiffel Tower was completed in 1889 at 324 meters. It is the tallest structure in Paris. It's one of the most visited monuments in the world. It has 1,665 steps. The architect of this masterpiece was a man known Gustave Eiffel and the monument was actually named after him. Okay, Gustave Eiffel designed the Tour Eiffel, he was in charge, and that's why we call it the Eiffel Tower. It's located in the 7th arrondissement in Paris. The second famous monument in France, in no particular order, is the Musée du Louvre, okay? The Louvre Museum, which is home to the famous painting, the Mona Lisa, by Leonardo da Vinci. It's the most visited art museum in the world, and it's France's National Museum and Art Gallery. The Louvre Museum is in a 12th century palace in Paris that was residence of a uh, France royal family. It became a museum in uh, 1793 after the French Revolution. Now, some of the famous artworks uh, kept in the uh, Musée du Louvre is not just Mona Lisa, also the massive painting of the coronation of Napoleon. It's also in the Louvre Museum. So, should be in your bucket list next time you want to visit France. Also, France is home to the Arc de Triomphe. I'm sure you've seen these pictures almost everywhere. Now, the Arc de Triomphe is a famous monument erected in honor of the French soldiers who gave their lives to serve their country. It was conceived by Napoleon to honor the French army and it was actually completed on 29th of July, 1836. It's about 51 meters high and is the largest is the second largest arc in the world the second largest arc in the world and is found in the eight arrondissement in paris now other monuments in france are the notre dame de paris now fun fact about the notre dame de paris is that it actually took 200 years to build also we have the basilica de sacré coeur the basilica de sacré coeur is the second highest point in Paris. Very interesting place, very beautiful place. Uh, then we also have the Centre Pompidou, we have the Pont Neuf. Now, now the Pont Neuf is the oldest standing bridge across the Seine. You also have the Place de la Concorde, you have of course the Chateau de Versailles, which was built by Louis XIII. Le Fleuve, some of French famous rivers are La Seine, which is the second longest river, La Loire, La Garonne, Le Rhône, and Le Rhin. Now, the currency in France, just as in uh, most European countries, is euros. So you have um, 500 euros, you have 200 euros, you have 100 euros, 50 euros, 2, 20 euros, 10 euros, 5 euros, then you have 2 euros, 1 euros, you have 50 centimes, as it's called, 50 cents, centimes. You have 20, you have 10, 5, 2, and 1. Now, the symbols of the Republic, the symbols in France, of course, you have the flag called le drapeau tricolore et la devise. Now, it's blue, 
white, red. The French flag is blue, white, red. In French, bleu, blanc, rouge. And the motto, the devise is liberté, égalité, fraternité. Now, this dates back to the French Revolution and summarizes the basic principles of the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen. That's Déclaration des Droits de l'Homme et du Citoyen. It's inscribed in the 1958 Constitution and it can be found in the pediments of state buildings. Now, the second symbol is Marianne. Yeah, this is called the Marianne and it represents the French Republic and freedom. Uh, a burst can be found in coins, uh, postage stamps, and even in town halls. Uh, the other symbol of the Republic is the national anthem, which is called L'hymne national. In French, the Lime National of France is called La Marseillaise, which was written by Rouget de Lille in Strasbourg in uh, 1792. Now, this actually was written in 1792, but became an anthem on the 14th of July, 1795. Now, another symbol of, of France is uh, Le 4 Juillet. Le 4 Juillet is July 14th, and it is the National Day of France. Uh, why is it celebrated? This day celebrates the storming of the Bastille on the 14th of July 1789, marking the beginning of the French Revolution. And uh, the National Day also represents the fall of the old region. Now, the next symbol, which technically mm, is not really a symbol, it's not like officially recognized, is Le Coq. Okay, Le Coq. And it's not an official symbol, but very popular. It's often used as a symbol by sports federations. For example, the FFF, the Federation of French uh, Football, and even tennis and other sports. You can find this on the jerseys and all. Lastly, let's talk about the economy. These are French companies. So France is a very strong economy in Europe and is the second largest economy in Europe after Germany. Its main industries are machinery, chemicals, automobiles, uh, metallurgy, aircraft, electronics, textiles, food processing, tourism, of course, apparently tourism, and not surprisingly, agriculture. Yeah, agriculture. Now, if you watch this video to the end, thank you very much. Merci beaucoup d'avoir suivi jusqu'à maintenant. And if you love this content and you like content like this, please hit the subscribe button and check out my website for more information about France, about French language and culture. Merci et à très bientôt.